All right, so today we're doing a programming language tier list. So before it starts, some of these programming languages, obviously I have used, some of them I haven't. So I'm only going to be tearing the languages that I've used or know a little bit about just to make it fair. And also to make the video short because this is way too much to rank. All right, let's start. Let's start with C. So C, old language. I think it was made in like the 1970s, but it's actually kind of easy to learn. Obviously there's like memory address and pointers and those can be you know a little complicated but you know if you don't know how to code you can actually learn a lot the fundamentals of coding from this language um obviously it's not object oriented that's the only thing so i think for this language i might put it you know, c or b tier i don't know i think because of the age i might put it might put it c tier i don't know we'll always ch we can always change it the next one is actually uh the command line uh yeah that's d because like you know you can't really do much with it apart from like print and check wi-fi passwords so next one is c plus plus this is the song language is epic you know you can do obviously game development nowadays actually even though i said the language is epic it's kind of hard and this is also the extension to c that's why it's called c plus plus i think with this language uh right now there are some use cases for it it's very powerful as well a few modules in it but it is kind of hard but it is powerful so i think i'll put this b tier for now all right next up is css and i guess also html obviously css is used to just style your html and your web document that's really all it's used for um there's a lot of styling options and positioning and whatnot and uh yeah it's actually easy pretty easy so i think this can also go b tier ish but also i want to put it c tier because it's not as powerful of like, as like you know c but it is easy to use though but it's not like a programming language though if you know what i mean yeah maybe c tier and then html well that's like the skeleton of web page and obviously you can't use css without html so i think with this one hmm, i think i'll just leave it at c all right next language is java now back then you can actually use this for like android development but now we have kotlin so uh when it comes on to java it's a good language i find it kind of slow particularly on the REPL. like when i execute and it takes like five seconds kind of slowish but it is powerful i know a few companies use it i will say it's a little bit more tricky to learn but uh it's a great language actually but it's just out kind of outdated ish so i think i'll also put this C tier so i don't know i might put this b tier as well because i don't know like it's just newer and more people use it compared to these languages so yeah all right next up is javascript this is a great language like such a good language it's probably my favorite language like you can do basically almost everything in javascript you know obviously it's built into the web so you know if i know javascript you can just load up a document and start coding which is epic you know super easy to use and yeah super easy to learn and you can do so much with it and then you have the frameworks with it as well you know more web development with react angular Vue, and there's react native for mobile then there's i think like electron and so many frameworks so this is s tier our next language is PHP. I've done a little bit of PHP coding, some basic, and yeah, this one I'm gonna put it. I think I put this like D tier as well. I mean, it's not really used. It was used in the early days of the web, but now we have JavaScript and frameworks, and yeah, it's kind of not really that useful anymore, really. So I think I'll put it like D tier. It's easy to learn though, but yeah, no one really uses it that much you know our right, next language is python the almighty python this is great so with python you can like it's very simple that's the first thing it's super duper simple like anyone can learn python like anyone and there's a lot of modules and then there's a lot of automation and then you can use machine learning and ai and like so many stuff can be used in python it's incredible and just how simple it is like it's great so this no not f tier s tier there we go. Our next one is actually C sharp. I've learned a little bit, but this language is great as well. Um, you can do multiple things, desktop development and then game development. And you know, once you get the hang of it, it's very useful. I think I'll put this um in A tier. Yeah, I think A tier you can do so much with C sharp. It's very powerful. And yeah, that's actually 
it that's actually it oh wait it's actually sql yeah i can go in like it's mostly just structure i think i'll put it b tier because like you no know, that's really just for database and querying actually i don't think it's like s tier but not a tier either so i think i'll keep it b tier yeah that's it that's actually it so this is the list so we have javascript and python in s tier c sharp in a tier b tier c plus plus sql css html in c we have the c programming language java and in d tier we have command line and php yeah that's it you can check the description for the tier list and yeah that's it